Hey everybody, welcome back to the Weird and Wacky. Today we're specializing in weird. The top five weirdest multimeters of 2021. Coming in at number five on the weird list, the TacLife DM10 with its wacky see-through exterior. Oh man, what were they thinking? This is not some disco style device. It's supposed to be a multimeter, it's supposed to be on the bench, but when you look at it, you can't help but thinking, groovy baby. Now this is just a little too weird, a little too far out for me. Coming at number four on the weird list, the Alicol Emax X3. Wow, Trekkies rejoice! A multimeter just for you. Yeah, this baby is definitely funky. It has that retro look, seems more at home on the ISS than a typical meter bench. Funny, they call it pocketable, but boy, you better have some thick pockets because this thing is really bizarre looking. Moving right along to number three on the weird list, the KT7030 Analog Digital Display Multimeter. Now this puppy is definitely strange. It tries to please both the analog and the digital multimeter crowd at the same time. Well, unfortunately, it fails at both. Yeah, it just leaves a lot to desire. Flaky analog measurements, slow performance, and man, this thing is ugly. Getting close to the weirdest of 2021. Coming up now, number two on the list. Oh, this one was a lot of fun to review. The uh, Jimmy JM. G3401, get a load of this, Red Dot Design winner with one of the worst multimeter designs ever realized. I can't believe it. Oh, you better do yourself a favor and stay far, far away from this dastardly excuse of a multimeter. You better bring a crowbar to change those fuses in what amounts to one of the most ludicrous design choices ever conceived for a DMM. Okay, by this time, you get the idea. Yeah, there's some pretty weird multimeters that came out in 2021, but which one actually takes the cake, which is the weirdest of them all? Well, unfortunately, the winner of this title goes to the wackiest design. Drum roll, please. That's not a drum roll. Okay, I'll take it anyway. The weirdest design goes to the pocket meter. It's tiny, it's easy to lose, it has the weirdest test probes you'll never want to use. Its feature set is minimal, and the worst part, you'll have to fork over a hundred bucks US just to get this piece of... Ah! Ooh, wow. Oh, why such an exorbitant price? Absolutely bizarre, expensive experience that needs a Bluetooth compatible device just to work. Uh-uh, say no, and there you go. Hey, thanks for watching this Weird and Wacky of 2021, the top five weirdest multimeters for your cheapo pleasure. Well, for any pleasure, hope you enjoyed it.